Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olene's.com Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 19 Transforming Text In Lessons 12 and 13 we talked about fitting a text to a path by selecting it, holding down the control key, and selecting the path to which you want it to conform. Under the Arrange key, there is an ABC Fit to Text option. I have also put that on my Quick Access Toolbar as mentioned in Lesson 1, so I won't have to pull down all the different tabs every time I want to find the tool I want. So we're going to just use it under the Arrange and we're going to fit the text to the outline. When we click that, we have these options the horizontal alignment, the vertical alignment, and the text orientation. We'll use the default for right now. So you can see it always is on top. But we wanted it on the bottom. So we are going to grab that again and get our options. And we're going to put this on the bottom. And we're going to have it on the other side. You have to click that box. Now you say OK. Now that's not what you want, so you're going to uh, flip it vertically. Then you're going to flip it mirror-like, flip it horizontally. So there is one way of getting your text to fit to the path. But an easier way of doing that is uh, when you choose your text, we'll do the same thing. But this time, enter. Instead of drawing the circles and going all through that, we are going to uh, select the text and we're going to check this little box under uh, ABC uh, text attributes and we're going to check transform and it uh, uses this one as the default when you first press it but we're going to transform it like this. We're going to have testing but we wanted it on the bottom so we're going to arc it that way. Let me pull it down. I, if I don't want it to arc quite that much, I'm going to pull it out so it's just about the same as the text below. So that matches up pretty much. Let's see. Yeah, pretty close. All right. So that's another good way of getting your text to go into arc. And uh, also you don't have to turn off the if you don't want the you just want the text and not the arc to show uh, you can turn it off now the one thing about this you can still individually change the color of each letter uh, just like you can uh, with this you can change the colors of the letters individually but one thing you can't do with the transforming text uh, that you can with this. Now notice when you choose this, the the we can you get this option. You see that little A shows up. You can slide the text this way. And when you see that little A where there, see where is the A? Okay. When you see that show up, then you can slide it the other way. Slide it all the way around if you want. Um, you don't have that option with this. There is no A thing, so when you move it, you, you can't slide it back and forth. And that was the difference I wanted to show you about transform text. Now, uh, under text attributes, I'm going to choose this again. There's all kinds of things you can do, and you can move, whenever you see little greens, you can transform it even more. But that is the difference between uh, the text-to-path and the transforming text.